All right. This morning, I was drinking some hot chocolate, mind my own business. And I, then I noticed the box. This box shows two kids. They're happy, right? Happily slurping their ch hot chocolate. But if you look closer, it's photoshopped. It's fake. These kids aren't actually enjoying this hot chocolate. And then I noticed myself. This hot chocolate, it tastes like styrofoam. All of a sudden, I was determined to get to the bottom of this. Does it really taste good or is it just clever marketing to make you think that happy equals hot chocolate. I decided to do some digging. I looked at the ingredients on this and they were in Arabic. So I, uh, I didn't, I, I don't have a phone so I can't use Google Translate. So I called my friend who doesn't speak Arabic and we just sat there and we're like, hey, it's hot chocolate, really gross. So we went to the store and bought some more. Just kidding, do you think that's how I end this story? No, absolutely not. Healthy people drink water. Refreshing? No. So me and my friend went to the store to ask where they got the hot chocolate. They said it came from Saudi Arabia. So me and my friend flew to Saudi Arabia this morning. So we, w we went to this place and it was this big shop and it had two smiling kids on the front. Can you believe what they were? Humans. Can you believe who they were? <laughs> These people. But I took my super 30 times optical zoom camera and I zoomed up at the top. It was photoshopped. I knew it. I knew that these kids were fake. They're frauds. So I decided to find out who these kids were. I measured the distance between their eyes, their nose, and their mouth and approximately calculated the distance between their ears and the color of their hair and the molar cavities in their brains. I discovered that they both come from Israel. Guess what? That's where I live right now. So I decided to go visit these people and about five hours ago I went to go see them. Due to the 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 pollen in their hair I could tell where they lived easy. So I came to this house and it was this kid right here, this guy. So I went to his house and I asked him, have you ever had this chocolate hot chocolate in your life before? No, I've never had it before. But he said it in Hebrew, so I didn't understand him. So I slammed the door in his face and left. Approximately 10 minutes later, I came to this boy's house. Luckily, he spoke English, so I asked him, Hey, do you know of this hot chocolate? Um, yes, I know of it, and I drink it all the time. And do you know that this is you? That is not me. That is, uh, my cousin. So, I put my hand on my chin like this and left. I came back to his house and asked him for the approximate location of his cousin. He answered by saying, What is the approximate location? So then I told him, Um, do you know where your cousin lives? And he was like, I don't have a cousin. And that was when I slammed the door in his face. I went back to my home after that and got some hot chocolate. It tasted like styrofoam. And then I noticed on the front these two happy smiling kids. And they were fake. These are fake. So don't ever trust advertisements. Even light advertisements or table advertisements. Table advertisements or flex seal advertisements. That's a lot of damage. They actually work though. Have a good one. Peace out.